Welcome to DriveWise Cars, my name is Stephen and this is our beautiful 2014 Mini Wand Convertible Automatic finished in Midnight Black Metallic. The mileage on this one is just 15,239. It's had one lady owner from new and it comes complete with the benefit and reassurance of a fully documented mini service history. Now the specification on this one includes a John Cooper Works chili pack, 17 inch cross spoke alloy wheels and full leather upholstery and a gorgeous three spoke multifunction steering wheel with paddle shift control as well. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's have a look rounder, shall we? So the John Cooper Works chili pack gives us a John Cooper Works aerodynamic kit. As we can see, just looking underneath the front bumper, 17 inch cross spoke alloy wheels, a John Cooper Works aerodynamics kit that we can see just underneath the front door there. And that thing continues all the way around the back. Did I mention those wheels? Aren't they gorgeous? And they're completely unmarked. We've also got an enhanced rear bumper cover, as we can see there. And we've got rear parking sensors as well. There's one of them. So there's no excuses for reversing into anything or anybody. And as we come now down the offside or driver's side, just take a moment and appreciate those beautiful clean lines. And again, just check out part of the aerodynamics kit, get my words right. And then we'll slowly make our way down to the front where we started from. Beautiful. So that's the outside. Let's have a look on the inside, shall we? Pop the driver's door open. Check out the door card first of all. Make sure there's no bumps or scrapes or tears, and there isn't. It's pristine. And if we pan over to the interior, so we've got the front sport seats with lumbar support, completely covered in leather, the hole punch leather interior. The driver's seat is height adjustable. And just as a reminder, there we go, John Cooper Works door sills. And check out that beautiful steering wheel. Stitched in red to complement the black leather. And there we go. Just in case you'd forgotten again, we've got a John Cooper Works badge as well. So on the steering wheel on the left hand side, we can adjust the volume and the radio station. And once you've paid your phone up to the uh, Bluetooth system, you receive an incoming call, just press the telephone button there and you can chat away safely. On the right hand side, we have cruise control and then sitting just above that, a rev counter. And if I press that, there we go, just to confirm the mileage for you, 15,239. We've also got a digital speedo, so there's no need to take your eye off the road whilst you're travelling along. And we also have the traditional mini speedo just in the centre of the dash with the radio controls underneath that. So we can also pair our telephone up there as well. And you can change whatever radio station you want to listen to. We've got DAB, tuner, an auxiliary and USB function as well. Underneath there we've got a CD player and then the heating and ventilation controls with the fan speed on the left hand side, temperature on the right and all you do to change the temperature, press the little button and this will let you direct the air wherever you want it to be. We've got an electric window switch for the driver's door, one for the passenger door, that's for the, the rear passengers and we've also got front and rear fog lamp switch there as well. I don't know if you can see that but we've got a USB and auxiliary port so you can download your favourite tunes, twin cup holders and there's the automatic shift lever. The John Cooper Works chili theme continues. That leather gator is also stitched in red. And then just behind that, a traditional handbrake. So while I'm sat inside it, I'll show you how the roof works. It's completely down at the moment. So we'll just close the door. I'll start the engine up. And then just above the rear view mirror, in the centre, we've got the button for the roof. You can see the green lights come on, so the roof's now in uh, closed mode. And we'll watch that just come over our heads there. There 
we go, all locked. And at the same time that the roof is closing, the side windows come up as well. And you are now safe to drive away. And on the convertible, if you want to open the roof, we just pull the lever back. There we go. On the convertibles, you can have the roof open partially, as we can see, so it lets a lot of fresh air in. But if you want the roof all the way down, just grab hold of the button again. And here it goes. There we are. Again, once the process is finished, the side windows come up to the top. So you can see that the process is finished and you can drive away safely. So we'll just switch the engine off now and we'll carry on. So to let passengers in the back on the convertible, there's a lever on the back of the driver's seat. Lift that up, pull it forward and there you go. And I think it's fair to say those seats have hardly been sat on. And coming around to the back to gain access to the boot, just underneath the mini badge there, there's a little touch button, there we go, hopefully you heard that. Drop that down and that gives you access to the boot. Both rear seats fold down independently of each other to give you greater versatility. And then we'll come back down the near side, the passenger side. Again, we'll check out the door card. That's as beautiful as the driver's, completely unmarked as is the front passenger seat and the front passenger seat well that's also height adjustable as well and to gain access to the back pull that lever up pull it forwards and there we go access to the rear compartment too for the passengers so in summary here we have a gorgeous 2014 Mini One Convertible Automatic with just 15,239 miles, a fully documented Mini Service history and one lady owner from new. Once I finish the video, our team will come in, they'll cover to secure the interior, so we'll cover the steering wheel, handbrake and gear stick, so it's all safely ready for you to come and inspect. Thank you for watching our video. My name's Stephen and I look forward to speaking to you soon.